We're going to go to the White House now after a furious day of damage control. Facing tough questions and harsh criticism on three different controversies, President Obama and his team fought back on all fronts yesterday. And ABC's John Carl is on top of all the action. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. That's right. The president has been on, on fire, under fire from all fronts, including from some of his own allies who say he has been too passive in responding to all this. But now the president is firing back. The president was unsparing in his criticism of the IRS for targeting conservative Tea Party groups. It's inexcusable, and Americans are right to be angry about it, and I am angry about it. And he promised immediate action, starting with the resignation of the acting IRS commissioner. I'll do everything in my power to make sure nothing like this happens again by holding the responsible parties accountable. Although that doesn't appear to be immediate. In his letter of resignation, Deputy Commissioner Stephen Miller suggested that he would not be leaving right away, writing, quote, as I wrap up my time at the IRS, I will be focused on an orderly transition. With Congress now poised to hold multiple investigations on the issue, Speaker of the House John Boehner says he wants more than resignations. Now, my question isn't about who's going to resign. My question is, who's going to jail over this scandal? Late Wednesday, the White House also gave in to Republican demands to release 100 pages of emails detailing the behind-the-scenes conversations in the days after the terrorist attack in Benghazi. The emails confirm what ABC News first reported. The so-called talking points on the attack underwent 12 revisions, deleting references to the terror threat in Benghazi after the State Department raised objections. Senior administration officials, however, said it was Deputy CIA Director Mike Morell who actually made the changes by hand. The emails show that all 12 versions of the talking points said the attack was, quote, spontaneously inspired by protests in Cairo, something that turned out not to be true. Okay, John, that is the IRS controversy, the Benghazi controversy. The Attorney General yesterday also facing questions in this leak investigation whether the Justice Department went too far in seizing the phone records of the Associated Press. That's right, and I'll tell you, here at the White House, you can tell there's a feeling, a uh, real concern about that. They have no control over that. They can't interfere with that investigation. But the president has come out now to say he wants Congress to pass a shield law, which at least in theory could protect journalists from something like this in the future. Uh, overall, you know, this, this week started out so tough for the White House. You saw all that action yesterday. Do they now feel like they have this under control? I think they feel a lot better now than they did 24 hours ago, George. They really, their response earlier on this was, look, none of this is stuff in our control. Now the president has come out. He's taken some action on the IRS. They believe they can move on from this. But, of course, congressional hearings are just beginning on yep. that. A lot of hearings tomorrow. Okay, John, thanks very much.